is a thing. Are you sure you don't want to think this over? We could talk about it outside, where it's safe. I've never seen anything like that in here before. I swear. I told the chief we should go home. I told him. I can't talk to Marnik. Are you sure you don't want to think this over? Oh god. We could talk about it outside. I'm sure. Well, look at my safe. sword. It's all glowy. All right, come on, Josh and Jill. To think the fallen built all this, the knowledge they must have needed, knowledge now lost. over here If this is like every other fallen ruin then there'll be a lift Going up from the edge guys you're making me nervous the lower ring I know, like, I'm sorry for being so quiet <laughs> since we got into this place, but this feels like a place where you just kind of take in the sights and the sounds and just really kind of like be in the in the present moment and pay attention to what's around. Whoa. What's around you? What is all this down here? Some kind of mechanism. Some kind of wheels. This it's a vibe in here. It's definitely a vibe. I love the piano too. The piano always gets me, man. That's that's one of my weaknesses. Ooh. Any idea what those are? They seem to be containers of some sort. Chocobo. Oh, or perhaps cages. Like some sort of twisted menagerie. But why here? That's one of my favorite Star Trek episodes, the Menagerie. <laughs> we have a Chocobo, we have a um, Goblin, and uh, one of them things. Okay. And this place is huge! Ooh, a chest. We have a fallen belt. Do we want a fallen belt? It would give us, um, yeah, maybe. Another remnant of fallen ingenuity, unblemished by the passing of centuries. This belt is crafted from an unknown material with proper properties decidedly both ceramic and metallic, despite exhibiting the pliancy of treated leather. That it ever so subtly throbs in such the same manner as a living heart could, by some less adventurous types, be considered cause for concern. So it'll raise our defense by five and it'll lower our... What is that? Vigor? By two? I think we'll take it. We'll take it. Seems like a good trade-off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was trying to look inside there. 
see a bird. How many of these things are there? Contaminant detected. Releasing subjects Alpha, Two, Epsilon. Oh. Wow. He's still alive. But this tower is more than 15 centuries old. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. Some kind of cryo sleep, but new enemies approach. Yeah, get out of here. Get away from me. Level up! Whee! Level 49. If they build this place to grow crystals, why imprison creatures here? So they could attack intruders, maybe? Because that's, I don't know, that's what they did. Reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn. Pet, pet. Just pretend we pet, pet the torque. That device. It glows just like the doors. Let's touch it. What does this button do? Log entry. Six, eight, zero, nine, two, five. Ooh, log entry. Mitogenic reactor trial successful. 23 units of grade 3C crystal produced. Moving forward. All seeds fabricated from inorganic material are to be replaced with lab grown organic specimens. Organic specimens? So they were turning living creatures into crystals. Oh no. Oh no. That's some twisted shit right there. Oh. Is there a way? Look at these scorpions. Oh, ugh. Some kind of weird mist in this room. Think Fran's gonna be okay with all the mist in here?
enemies. Josh? Maybe it was Torgal. Who knows? <sighs> That's not the right button. I got a nourishment bit. Check that out. What is that? Is that a... Oh, it's... Increases HP regain potential when taking damage while automatically restoring HP regain gauge. Okay, nice. That's pretty sweet. Better already. Uh oh. It's fighting time. Yeah. 
hard. This is hard. I use like all my potions except two in that fight. Ugh. Oh, that was nasty. Increases damage dealt using most aerial attacks by 20%. Also increases maximum number of stomps from two to three or six if ability is met. I don't even remember what it, what is a stomp? I don't even remember what that is. And that makes two. Uh, no more of those, please. Yes. But of how many? Uh... That depends on how determined they were to conceal their activities. I think they were really determined. Hey. Speaking of potions... Another elevator. This is all too easy. If the tower is in control, easy. why not simply disable the lift? What are you suggesting, Joshua? That it's hurting us. What about any of this has been easy so far? There's an entire landing. fleet. Whoa, airships. I wonder if any are still capable of flight. Mid will want to see this. Heck yeah, she would. Uh, I want to see how high up we are. What was it called? There's that crater. Whoa, the town looks so small. Wonder if I could. No, doesn't tell me about it. Airship, though. Legend has it that the people of the fallen once sailed through the skies in the bellies of these ships, though all now lie shattered and silent on the surface below. The ruins that litter the lands around Zemeckis lend weight to the theory that they were also used to wage war as does the presence of similar several similar craft in the sage spire a veritable factory of death dealing armaments that's where they had that big old battle and the huge crater formed to see it from up here is absolutely insane that's when you know what happened yeah yeah you know what what is it called yeah, the one with the waterfall. Is that not this? Is this not the same thing? That's the one I was thinking of. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so we're here. And where are we looking at? Where's that big crater? I don't know if I see it on the map. Didn't the Benedicta fight leave a big crater? Where did that take place again? I don't even remember. Yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. In some woods. Yeah, so this isn't in the desert. So this isn't the one from Z the battle in Zemeckis. Are we facing north? <laughs> I really want to see it on the map. So there's... Wait, wait, there's... Is that Rosaria? It's 
So if this is Rosaria here, right? And what we're looking at is going to be over here somewhere. Anyways, very fascinating. Bunch of flying shit. when Phoenix and Ifrit fought? <laughs> we have so many theories, but no answers. Anybody from the YouTube comments? Okay, so that's... Okay, so... Here's... Rosaria. Kingdom, whatever. Capital. And then... There's, like, all the water. It's on a little peninsula, this thing. And then, so it's... This thing's way out here. Looks like there's some ruins by it. Maybe that's Rosier. Maybe that's... Hold on. <laughs> I don't know, man. Does anybody on the YouTube comments know? Garuda exploded somewhere in Sonbrek, so it can't be that. Well, I don't know. It's gonna bug me now. Hopefully the YouTube comments will come to the rescue. Somebody out there must know. What that big crater is. some potions man this view is crazy though wow this is kind of amazing anomalous activity detected in hangar bay Oh, great. Then let's show them what we're capable of. Okay.
We got more of them. I need more potions again. <laughs> I used them all again. Help. Transferring sentry prototype AM2 to Stasis Silo West. Oh. We'll just have to hope those crystals it's sporting are as worthless as the others. What the heck?
damage. magic projectiles. You gotta be kidding me.
<laughs> gotcha. That was a long fight. Dang. I guess I was just right in the that first time I died. I guess I just got hit by that big attack. Oh well, live and learn. Neural link lost. Re-establishing connection. Imagine an entire war fought with these things. I'd rather not. The quantity of ether required to animate them all would be unfathomable. No wonder they were trying to manufacture their own crystals. Unable to establish connection. Raising threat index. We're not actually a threat. You don't have to worry about... Oh. It seems we've made an impression. We got the angry red eyes. We got the Perhaps angry the red. Perhaps the cages will open now. Josh, don't shut tempt up. fate, Joshua. Josh, what, is, what me, are you doing? They may not. Uh, <laughs> you can't unjinx us after you jinx us, Josh. That's not how it works. higher up. The upper ring. Oh. Oh no, we can't see the view anymore? No. No. Is that... Mm living flesh i'm beginning to think this whole tower is alive okay we're getting into the weird territory the banger music territory wrong button the view. Oh no, we can't. We're too short. Got an assailment bit. Well, okay, I'll check it out. What is it? Increases rate at which damage multiplier rises while enemies are staggered, as well as increases multiplier maximum to 200%. Ooh. So we do get a damage multiplier when enemies are staggered. The disengagement bit indicates precise parry timing by temporarily changing the color of a target's display name. Increases slowdown following a successful parry by 20%. Oh, oh, interesting. I'm, I'm kind of, kind of digging this assailment bit. Let's give it a shot.
around. Thank <laughs> you. 
potions in the process, but that's okay. A win's a win. A win is a win. Revivement bit. Improves limit break induced enhancements while increasing HP regen during limit break by 50%. Also, if fatal damage is taken while the limit gauge is full, a limit break is automatically triggered, preventing KO, except under special circumstances such as being in the Deadlands. Let's give it a try. This way. What time is it? Okay, we got like 20 minutes. Initializing emergency subroutines. Diverting reactor power. I think it's getting ready to receive us. Oh, kinky. Ah, there's another one of those devices. go wrong development lock entry seven five zero five zero one average improvement of crystal resilience four hundred and ninety two percent when biological core exhibits high ethereal congruity specimens with a congruity rating of seven or below are to be sent to B level for military repurposing Going down. Ew. Ugh. Let's try to get rid of these guys ASAP. I thought I got a belt. What did I get? Did I get a song? Oh, it was a song. Nice. The Overmind, exactly. For the swarm. 
How do you like my groove, Dagon? They built an army. of elicitation. Uh, now's our chance. Be here. Good luck. Thank you. I think I'm gonna need it. I haven't been too great on the combat. Oh, this is uh, looking a little bit crazy. There's the heart of the crystal. Unauthorized entry detected. Primary core firewalls activated. Initializing iconoclastic defense system Omega-1. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. Are we gonna fight an icon? Oh, it's the spider thing! That we saw. At the start. Okay, what? 
Core containment. Complete. Authorizing environmental sterilization protocol. Well, at least we know where it is this time. Quite. And if we want it... <laughs> if we want it... All we have to do is kill an icon. Shouldn't be too hard. Weapons armed. Stand clear. We have the power of several icons on our side. What is this? Oh god, oh god. haven't really been doing me too many favors in this DLC. Things keep jumping away from me. Too bad to dodge all his stuff. The problem is, his health bar has barely moved at all. how far I can Is get before over? I die. Please tell me it's over. It's not over. Data assessment. Complete. Recalculating threat level. Oh. Routines authorized. Rerouting core power to Omega-1. Well, now it's going to know that we're really strong and it's going to get even tougher. Not yet. Okay, it's like, okay, we were just messing with you before. Now we're actually going to try. Because now we see that you're kind of tough. Oh, did we get some special music for this? Okay, now I really wish I was Aloy with my bow and arrow and just shoot those little things. Is it 
too late to turn around to go back. All right. I'm convinced. my ass. I only have two high potions left. I cannot see this ending well for me. Oh god! I hit dodge, motherfucker! Oh, Jesus! Okay, let's do this. Come back.
Look, okay, I got really far. I stayed alive for a long time. With no health potions. I did better than I thought I would, was going to. I just don't feel like I should have taken that much damage, okay? This isn't fair.
it there. Oh. Oh no, he's gonna kill me again. He does so much damage. Oh my god, I, I can't tell what's going on.
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Woo. What the hell? Omega nodule used in crafting. <sighs> God damn. Omega control unit. Offline. Initiating emergency core extraction. Whew. Would you that care was fun. to be honest, Clive? <laughs> Gladly. For what? I thought I told you to leave this place. What must you ruin us all? I, I cannot let you do that. What? We need these crystals. They're all we have. And just who is this we? We are of an ancient tribe. One of the first to lose its lands to the blight. For countless years, we were forced to roam the twins. A nation without a mother crystal. A people without a blessing. So we found our own. The dust crystals provide us a means to survive. Yes, but at what cost? Like all crystals, these shards channel ether. And where do you think that ether comes from? It sucked from the land, as a leech sucks blood from a beast. And what? You just expect us to believe that? Yes, I have a deep, no, sexy voice. But that doesn't make what we've told you any less true. If this heart is anything like the others, it will bleed the twins of their life force, till naught remains, naught but death. The proof is all around. What do you think robbed your people of their home in the first place? We are trying to stop that from happening again. And this is the only way. Fuck me. You're Sid. You saw what happened after the Empire lost Drake's head. What do you suppose they will do when they find out, as they surely will? that there is another heart hidden right here under their noses. Your people's need will count for naught. Damn it. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. But you said you didn't believe him, Chief. I don't. But the man does have a point. There's no keeping this place a secret now. And hanging on to these crystals will only get our people killed. Have it your way, then. Just promise me you'll leave my people out of it. Stand back. It's about to get hot in here. Found. 
Yeah. Oh, this whole place is coming down, isn't it? Maybe not. I hope we did the right thing. Maybe it is. We all saw the crystals fade, but what of the cages? We barely even explored half of the chambers. Mm, without the heart to sustain them, I doubt those still slumbering in the tower will stir now, if ever. I hope you're right. The last thing the world needs is one of those six-legged pests running around wreaking havoc. We have more than enough two-legged pests to deal with as it is. However blameless they may claim to be. What? Oh, two-legged. Right. <laughs> Sorry. I was just wondering what I'm going to tell the village elders when we get back. I suppose I'll just beg them for forgiveness, and when that doesn't work, give them the slip and lie low for a year or two. You're planning to run away. Again. That's what he does. What? It's got us this far, hasn't it? I mean, we may have had a bit of help, like. Kind of you to remember. Will you and your people be all right? Oh, we've made do without before. I reckon we'll survive. And if what you said is true, it's not like the rest of the realm's going to have it much easier. Besides, one man's ordeal is another man's opportunity, as the old saying goes. I don't recall ever hearing that one, but fine. <laughs> Whatever you say, bro. Now, if you don't mind, we've got places to be. We do? I mean, we do. Uh, thanks for uh, everything. I said, we've got places to be. Back to the Bye. hideaway then. Karen and Hippocrates will want to hear about this. Uh, I was thinking we might first return to the tower and see if we can... Back to the hideaway, then. right -oh, We did it! Defeat Omega! That was... That was the best boss fight of this whole game, I think, so far. I mean, the Bahamut fight was... really cool, but in, like... as far as, like, mechanically... This one was the best. And it looks really cool. I mean, Bahamut will always look the coolest. The music, everything. But the music on this one was good, too. Oh, let's pet Torgal. That was really good. Get it, boy. That was fun. That was challenging. Do I have any elixirs or e ethers? You could assign them from the menu. I don't even know what ethers do in this game. Do they give me... Um, 
Let's see. Let's go to the hideaway. Do they give me my special stuff? Ether gives me health? In this game? Na, 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 na. Back are ya? So? Did you find out where the dust crystals were coming from or what? It's uh, a long story. And perhaps one better told in the shelves. Bloody hell. Remind me never to go poking round in any fallen ruins. Not only a mother crystal of human creation, but an icon as well. Truly, the study of our fallen forebears is endlessly rewarding. The wonders of which they were capable never cease to amaze. They came as something of a surprise to us, too. You can say that again. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set foot in that tower. We only knew the old stories. Of a people so consumed by greed that they sought to overthrow the gods. And I'd hazard the thing we found in that tower was conceived for that very purpose. Omega. The offspring of the Fallen's boundless knowledge and unchecked ambition. A dangerous combination for all concerned. And Ultima crushed them. It was he whose secrets the Fallen coveted, let's not forget. He whom they strove to dethrone. Just as we strive to dethrone him now. Without their knowledge. And without their weapons of war. Clive. This power I've been given may exceed even theirs. But if I use it, as they did... Who's to say things won't end the same way? Calm now, brother. I think the events of recent days have made it abundantly clear that we are not our ancestors. As well you know. You're right. They made crystals. We destroy them. In crafting their artificial heart, the Fallen sought to emulate the Divine. But that is not the path we have chosen. No. We don't want to be gods. We just want to be free. Well said. If one does not learn from the mistakes of the past, one is doomed to repeat them. And so, I mean to write down everything you've told me to the very last detail, that those who come after might learn from our travails, and perhaps, just perhaps, forge a brighter future for our descendants. Yay! Echoes of the Fallen complete! We got a Dusk Shard, which will be displayed in Clive's chambers, as if unable or, or unwilling to accept the loss of their mother. With the uh, destruction of the Sage Spire's heart, did all nearby Dusk Crystals shatter and fade. Oddly, those far removed from the tower, however, do not appear to have suffered the same fate. Including a particularly suspect sample Goots was pulled into buying on a recent journey to Port Isolde. They're not even what you'd call decent, says Famiel. Oh yeah, the Dusk Shard, huh? Just like in Final Fantasy XII! One DLC down, one left to go. Yes. Overall, um, it was kind of oh, I mean, the 
the reason that I mostly had fun was just I was just getting back into the game and fighting but it was kind of just okay until that last fight I hope you guys enjoyed viewing Echoes of the Fallen with me. I thought it was a pretty solid DLC. It was a nice ease back into the game for me since it's been a while since I played, getting used to the mechanics and how the game works and the menus and everything. Story-wise, it was pretty interesting, fairly interesting. Uh, I didn't think the uh, DLC was that amazing until the very end, the Omega fight. That was, it got my heart pumping really fast. Visually, it was cool. The music was awesome. And that just made everything totally worth it. And it makes me really excited to see what the next DLC is going to be like. So I hope you guys will join me for that, for the Rising Tide. Until then, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!